This video provides a quick introduction to SmartBear Software's Code and Artifact Review Tool, Collaborator. Without Collaborator, teams find themselves performing reviews by looking over each other's shoulders, sitting in meetings, and emailing files around. This can make performing reviews tedious and time-consuming, and makes collecting comments and metrics difficult. Collaborator offers a centralized, fun, and easy way for teams to perform reviews, which helps ensure a higher quality product with faster time to market. Let's get started by taking a look at a review. Here we see Collaborator's Div Viewer. This is the heart of a review. On the right, we see a side-by-side -side Div View of a Java file that has been attached to the review. In this particular case, we're looking at a proposed change on the right and a previously checked inversion on the left. Notice that there are a few icons associated with the specific lines in the code. These icons correspond to conversations listed on the left-hand portion of the Div Viewer. One of the benefits of Collaborator is that it allows as many participants as is necessary to be a part of a review. The conversation portion of the viewer allows those users to make overall statements about the code, statements about specific lines, or file issues. Issues are items within the context of a review that must be addressed before that review can be closed. It is a way to ensure that uncovered items are fixed by the author. Clicking File in the upper navigation pane allows us to navigate to a requirements document that is also attached to this review. Collaborator supports .doc, .docx, .pdf, and image files as well. Notice that the document also has comments and issues associated with it. However, instead of doing things by line, like in a code review, we do things based on a pushpin. The pushpins provide a reference point for the conversation. Also notice that the Div Viewer shows additions and deletions, and the pushpins are moved to the appropriate location as changes are made. The real benefit to using Collaborator as a review tool is that it allows organizations a centralized place to manage code and artifact reviews, as well as provides reporting and metrics. As an example, think about trying to perform a code or document review via email. The more people you add to the email chain, the more messages you have going back and forth. This can get confusing for reviewers, but think about the challenge the author is faced with. They have to make sense of all of the email threads that are going back and forth, and then pull out the relevant items, compile a list of fixes, and then fix the issues. Once those items are fixed, the author could email them back out, but who on the list remembers what the author was actually supposed to fix? With Collaborator, all of that is easily captured for both the author and the participants. Plus, there are reports and metrics that are collected for all of the reviews. These reports and metrics provide management with the information they need to make informed decisions about the development process. Now that we have seen the benefits of Collaborator, let's quickly walk through creating a review. The Collaborator client is used to interface with the SCM and create reviews. The client supports a total of 16 different SCMs, including Git, Perforce, Subversion, TFS, and RTC. In addition to SCM support, SmartBear also offers plugins for Eclipse, Visual Studio, and P4V. We will be creating the review using the GUI client, but reviews can also be created via the command line. This client is pointed to Subversion, so we'll be using that to create the review. It is important to note that the tool supports both pre- and post-commit reviews, and we'll be doing a pre-commit review for this demo. We'll choose Add Changes, and give the review a name. Clicking Next shows us the files that have been modified. Notice that you can also choose to show unchanged files as well. Clicking Next again provides you with an opportunity to attach supporting documentation, such as a review checklist. Clicking Next one more time shows us the total number of items that we'll be attaching to the review. If we're satisfied, we can click Finish. Clicking Finish tells the Collaborator client to gather both the locally modified files as well as the previously checked in version. As you can see, the browser automatically opened to the newly created review, allowing us to specify review information and assign participants to the review. We'll assign one reviewer and one observer to this review. Files not in version control can be attached by clicking the Upload option or by dragging and dropping those files over the review summary screen. Finally, we'll choose the option to Apply and Begin Review. This notifies the participants that a new review is assigned to them. Notifications can occur via email, RSS feed, or through the tray icon. Let's open a browser and log into Collaborator as Justin the reviewer. Justin can see all of the reviews assigned to him, including the newly created review. Clicking on the review opens the review summary page. 
Justin can see all of the same review information that Bob the author defined during the review creation. Scrolling down, Justin can see the review materials that have been attached to the review. Clicking on one of the files opens a familiar screen, the diff viewer. As you can see, creating reviews is easy and intuitive with Collaborator, and the tool is customizable, allowing it to fit into your processes. In addition to being easy to use and customize, Collaborator also provides the audit trails and review metrics needed for process improvement and compliance reporting. Collaborator offers a ton of great features for both meeting-based and informal quick-style reviews. For more details about Collaborator, check out the full-length demo video or set up a trial and check it out for yourself. We know that Collaborator reduces review times and produces higher quality code and we believe that you will see the same results. With Collaborator, reviews actually get done. People don't give up in frustration just because it's too difficult to coordinate, capture, or track details. For more information about Collaborator or any other SmartBear product, please visit www.smartbear.com. Thanks for watching.